Here we go with another battle vid. This is my Zeki Ills deck again. Uh, this is the Smeargle Sky Arrow version uh, against a uh, Reshiram deck, I believe Reshi Boar, but I'm not completely sure, so we'll find out in a minute, I'm sure. So, uh, they get to go first. I start with Mewtwo and a Zekrom, and I choose to promote the uh, Mewtwo first because I do have that DC in hand, able to donk. Uh, check her wins just for fun, and uh, see, she's got a few. Uh, unfortunately, she plays N, and there goes my DCE for the donk. Um, so she does get to go first, and uh, had I gone first, uh, that would have won me the game. So we'll see how this plays out. She benches a Reshiram EX and attaches a DCE to it, so even if I were able to draw another DCE, I wouldn't be winning the game on my first turn. And then she ekes for her turn, and her Cleffa is asleep still, so can't touch him. I'm going to go ahead and play the Tynamo and the Smeargle that's in my hand, as well as the Sky Arrow, because since I can't get a Donk, and since I certainly can't even attack my opponent, there's no reason um, to really focus on uh, trying to get that DCE this, this game, or not this game, sorry, this turn, and just focus on building my bench. So I attach the Lightning to Zekrom, and I pawn for a new hand. Not really happy with my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and portrait, see what she has in hers. And it's an interviewer's question, so I'll go ahead and, uh, well, I have to play it. And get a couple Lightning Energy, so I'll go with those. And uh, that's pretty much all I can do. I can't attack, so um, I'm just going to end my turn. And she wakes up on her turn, the Cleffa. And yes, this is Reshi Boar because there is the Tepig. She attaches another um, energy to Reshiram EX, this time a fire. And then looks like she's eking again to end her turn. Uh, so really must not have had anything in hand. And again, she's asleep. So. Uh, now I have some options. I have the DCE in hand, so I can donk. Um, but the question is, do I want to? I certainly can't, um, well, I can't take out that Cleffa because it's still asleep, so there's really no point in me focusing on that. But I can catch her up something and start doing some damage. So Reshiram EX has a lot of energy on it, a DCE and a fighting, or not fighting, a fire. Which means my Mewtwo is hitting it for, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 10, 100 damage. I portrait her hand and uh, see no supporters in there, so I'm going to go ahead and use Sky Arrow to free retreat. Yeah, there the game is letting me. And go back to that Mewtwo. There we go, to hit for 100. And the noises you're hearing in the background are the animals that I'm currently taking care of. So I think I play. I, I thought I hit X ball, but um, the game's been a little particular lately, where uh, you can't just hit it in the middle. Uh, you have to hit it on like one of the ends for it to actually recognize that you are telling it to do something. So a little odd, but not really a big deal. So she plays the Shaman EX, and I'm not really sure why. Shaman EX is more of a late game attacker. And uh, while it's a great late game attacker, it just really doesn't have a use. And um, you know, uh, when I've, I haven't taken any prizes yet, so putting it on the bench just makes it a great catcher target because I can easily knock it out with something like uh, a Zekrom. So uh, that was probably a poor play, but she does communicate one of her um, either Minchino or Chinchino in for another Reshiram EX and takes, uh, uses her DCE to retreat back to Cleffa, and attaches a uh, fire energy from her hand to Reshiram to end her turn um, with Neek. So, third time in a row that Cleffa stays asleep. Uh, so now I've got some options. Uh, first off, I'm going to switch back to the Smeargle because I have no supporter in hand uh, and see what I can do. Um, but I'm first going to junk arm those two lightnings because I can reuse them with um, Dynamotor. Um, yeah, I think I do go for the two lightnings. And I'm going to go ahead and get that catcher back so I can at least hit something. And now here's what I get to choose. Um, do I 
yeah, it looks like I'm going to go for the restroom meat again to just finish it off. So I'm going to portrait and nothing again. So, and really nothing for her to work with either. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that fighting energy to Zekrom, uh, help get it built up since I still don't have an eel on the field. And then I'll promote the Mewtwo and use X-Ball for, I believe it's now 80, and Knockout. And again, we got this little funny thing where you have to just hit it in the right spot, and yep, does 80 damage, and because it's an EX, I get to take two prices. So I'm hoping to pull a supporter off of one of these, but unfortunately, I don't. I uh, don't even pull really any trainers either, so my board is still looking really dead. If it was not for that Mewtwo, and that DCE, uh, there's not much I could do. So she evolves her tep, uh, uh, yeah, her tepig to a pig knight, plays the Minchino as well, and plays down another tepig in case I'm able to, uh, you know, catch her up uh, that pig knight before it can go to an embor. So I know she's got some energy in her hand from my portrait. A uh, prism, a fire. So there's the fire that goes on a restroom, and then looks like she's eking yet again. And will it wake up this time? No. So four tails in a row. I have finally hit any electric, which means I can start utilizing that dynamotor to build up my bench. I'm going to go ahead and play the dual ball, but I flip a double tails. So that really doesn't help me any. I'm going to. Um, here's where I'm trying to decide if I, uh, yeah, it looks like I am going to, um, attach that fighting just to be able to retreat back to the Smeargle, hoping to portrait something, uh, supporter-wise. And I portrait twins. I cannot use twins because I am not ahead on prizes. So that is a, uh, useless card for me. I'm going to go ahead and Dynamotor, I believe, onto that Zekrom, getting it ready for a Bolt Strike next turn. And then I'm going to end my turn, because since I've already manually retreated and I don't have a switch, and of course the Cleffa wakes up, um, I can't attack, and since that Cleffa was asleep anyways, I couldn't attack, uh, at least that Cleffa anyways, and I uh, obviously don't have a catcher in hand to attack anything on the bench. So she is able to evolve that Pig Knight into an Embor, and plays that Twins. So now she's got a lot of options. She can go and uh, go for a double Embor, uh, get some more energy to be able to power up Reshiram EX, um, go for the Catcher to be able to target um, you know, my Eel, and, uh, and then use Reshiram EX. There's a lot of options right now to her, um, and a lot of things she can just exploit uh, from my very not set up field. So, oddly enough, she chooses to attach the Prism to the Shaman. Um, that was her attachment for the turn. And then uses uh, Fandango to attach uh, one fire on Teresherum EX. So she still needs uh, at least one more energy. So there's another uh, Fire Fandango uh, for the third energy on the Reshiram. And then evolves to Chinchino on the bench and then ekes yet again. So really must have a terrible hand. And finally, the Cleffa wakes up, and I draw a Pokegear. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take the only supporter that is um, from that Pokegear, and that's the Sage. I'm going to go ahead and immediately play the Sage. So I'll probably toss the Lightning. I'll keep the Catcher. Um... Hmm, I uh, really don't need Zekrom, uh, probably take the Super Rod just because it's something that uh, I've only run one of, and I hate Junk Arming for Super Rods. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and play that Zekrom EX just in case uh, she runs Juniper, and I uh, definitely don't want to lose that. Also, because my Zekrom is powered up on the bench, my Mewtwo's got some energy on it, so it's time to get the Zekrom ready to go. I'm going to use Catcher to uh, target the 
Um, I'm thinking I'm tar targeting the Shaman uh, simply because that's another easy two prizes, which means I don't have to work very hard to get my last two prizes for the game. Um, essentially, if I can just focus on the EXs, I've uh, really got this. And even if I don't focus on the EXs, there's um, a, 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 minch, a Chinchino that's going to be fairly easy to take out. And uh, if I can prevent that Tepig from evolving, uh, that'll be easy to take out. And I can also take out the Embor with the Reshiram EX2. So here I'm going to Celebration Wind. Um, looks like... Um, I'm not quite sure why, uh, why I'm doing this. Um, because I could easily take out that Shaman with a Bolt Strike from Zekrom. Um, so I don't know why I really want to take it out with Zekrom EX. Maybe make it harder for them to return a knockout? And it looks like I'm going to keep that DCE on the Mewtwo. And now I'm going to Portrait for a cheerleader's cheer. Um, not bad. Uh, let's me draw three cards. Let's her draw one. That can definitely help me get set up for another turn. And right now I'm waiting for her to decide whether or not she wants to take her card or not. And she chooses yes. So now I can utilize Sky Arrow for my free retreat. Go back to the Zekrom EX and uh, knock it out with Strong Volt. Again, I'm not quite sure why I did that instead of uh, Zekrom's Bolt Strike. Um, yeah, maybe just uh, maybe just clench my position a little bit more by having the the um, the additional prizes because there's really no way she can knock me out. Um, and maybe uh, well. Yeah, there's really no way she can top that uh, Zekrom out, so she's really going to have to use a catcher to target something weaker. So, uh, either way, I'm looking, uh, I'm, I'm at a really good position in this match. So, while that may have been a misplay in, in maybe a tournament game that was a bit closer, I really don't think it's a problem here. So, she plays Interviewers and gets quite a bit of energy. Um, I didn't quite catch all that uh, DCE, Prism, Grass, a little bit of everything pretty much. Attaches to the Chinchino. Fire Fandangos onto Chinchino as well. And Fire Fandangos onto Reshiram EX. Now, the downside of Reshiram EX is that uh, it's uh, attack for 150. Instead of discarding energy, you flip a coin, and if you hit Tails, I believe, you have to do 50 damage to yourself. Um, and if you, do, if you do 50 damage to yourself, that puts me within a great range of uh, knocking you out. So, she hits me from 150, but then flips the tails. And while I'm sure she'd love to see all those tails on those sleeping cleffas, I'm sure she's not happy to see them now. So I'm going to go ahead and use Sage, and definitely going to grab that DCE. as something I can't recover, and something I could really utilize. Everything else I don't need, it can be tossed. Uh, lightning energy especially, I can reuse that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Dynamotor onto the Zekrom, getting it powered back up again, just in case. And I'm going to attach the DCE to the Zekrom EX. So there's the Strong Volt for the game, and my last two prizes. So this game is a perfect example of um, why EXs are so dangerous. Uh, I really only needed to knock out three Pokemon rather than the typical six because of that EX rule. Uh, benching that Shaman EX was definitely a huge help to me. Um, made me have to work not nearly as hard to be able to pull off that win. But again, um, a pretty slow setup. Um, even though there were multiple Eeks with uh, lots of sleeping, uh, cleffas. Um, I was still able to work around that with Catcher and then just use the other turns to help get myself set up. So hope you guys enjoyed the match and there'll be more coming up.